Good morning. It's Monday, December 19th, 2022. This is your Georgia WeatherNet morning update. All is clear and quiet this morning on radar as of 653, but we do have cold temperatures. We're below freezing everywhere except for down along the coastline in Brunswick and Thomaston for some reason reporting 36. I'm a little bit skeptical about that because we do have those upper 20s in North Georgia all the way down through the mid state. Macon is at 28. Albany is at 27 degrees as well, so it is cold. We are below Low freezing, but because the criteria is just right for southeast Georgia, we do have that freeze warning in effect through 8 o'clock this morning. Let's go hour by hour today. Things are going to be pretty quiet across the state of Georgia. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds as we go through the morning hours heading into this afternoon. Also fairly quiet as well. You see back behind me some showers starting to sneak up on me. We do have a low pressure system that's going to continue to hug the Gulf Coast and bring some showers our direction as we move toward tomorrow. But as for today, still things are fairly quiet this afternoon. A little bit of a breeze, mainly in North Georgia, but not a big problem. So when we head towards 7 p.m., you can see that rain starting to move in a little bit closer. Chance of showers from LaGrange over to Carrollton down into Columbus. And then through the overnight hours, we see the chance of rain through South Georgia. The uh, rain chance pretty slight here in Southeast Georgia. I think Albany and Cordell Americas could see a few showers overnight tonight. And then by tomorrow morning, we have a better chance of showers mainly in South Georgia cloud cover to our north. We move through the afternoon hours. Yeah, that cold air is going to be up toward the north, so any moisture that is left up in that direction will turn into a few snow showers. So what we're going to see, we'll see some rain that may switch over to snow, switch back over to rain. It's kind of going to be a back and forth kind of deal. Little to no accumulation in North Georgia, maybe up toward the mountains in the extreme higher elevations. We'll see a little bit more snowfall, but then that rain will continue in South Georgia. We head through Tuesday evening, should be switching over to all rain up toward the north and still those clouds and showers for the rest of the state. That continues to scoot out of here. Center of the low is going to be east of Daytona. That'll continue to circulate up some moisture into the Carolinas toward the CSRA. So expect a few more showers late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. We clear back out again as we head into uh, starting the day on Wednesday. Going to be a little breezy. We move through the afternoon hours, still the showers hugging the coastline, and that'll stick around through the day on Wednesday. So now let's talk about the snow chance. Last week, a lot of people were posting models on the internet about a big, big snow around Christmas time. Doesn't really look like that's going to work out. We need two things for a big snow. We need cold air. We need moisture. We're going to get the cold air. We have a, a dip in the uh, polar jet that's going to dip way down south. We're going to have Arctic air that's going to move in. We don't need, we don't see Arctic air every season, but we're going to see it coming up Friday night into the weekend. So that's going to bring our temperatures down very cold. Single digit temperatures in the North Georgia mountains, well below freezing for the rest of the state. But the other thing that we need, see the system that's moving off here? We need something like that that's positioned around southwest Georgia or the Florida Panhandle to help push up some moisture to meet that cold air. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. So we will see some snow showers, but we're just not going to have a whole lot of moisture fed into the system to bring a lot of snowfall. Now we're going to continue to watch this. The uh, forecast could change, but as for right now, we can pretty much count on the very, very cold air by the end of the week and into the weekend. But as far as a big snow event, still doesn't look like that's necessarily going to be the case but we'll continue to watch it as we move through the week. Let's check out your local forecast now from Northwest Georgia to Southeast Georgia. 